Hey, it's Earthcastle. Today I'll be showing you how to make detailed lights in the Hammer Editor. I've already done a video like this before, but the previous one is outdated and I only showed off a single sort of light, so I thought I'd redo it, show multiple types of lights, and generally improve on the video. Anyway, onto the video. Here we have a nice detailed room, but there is a problem. It's completely dark. To fix this, first place down an entity using the entity tool and turn it into a light entity. Light entities act as little balls of light that illuminates any object around it. Whilst this lights up the room, it still doesn't look very good and as of right now, it's just a floating orb of light. Place down another entity and turn it into a prop underscore static. Then find a light model you want to use and place it on the ceiling where you want your light to be. Then place your light entity directly under the prop. This will create the effect of the light emitting from the prop. Whilst this is a light, it's not a very good one and there are no effects around it. It lights up the room in a very bland white colour and the only place I could think of it being used is in a hospital or an office map because of its very sterile look. Next, I'll show you how to take this light a step further and make it a spotlight or a lamp. First, change the colour of the light entity to a more yellowish tone by going into its properties and selecting this one. In here, you can change the colour and the brightness of the light. This number here is the brightness, and this button here takes you to a colour picker to choose the colour of your light. You can have pretty much any colour you want, but I'd recommend sticking to lighter tones for the main lights. Now that you've changed the colour, you may want to change the prop to fit it. This light looks more yellowish, so that's what I used. You'll also want a more direct, cone-shaped light prop, if you're going for a spotlight, since it looks like it's directing the light into the spotlight. Then place another entity and turn it into a point underscore spotlight. This is like a cone of light that makes your light much more noticeable, realistic, and makes it look so much better. Remember to change the colour of the spotlight to match the colour of the light entity and place it directly under the light prop, similar to the light entity. And that's how you make a spotlight. The room I used was a bit too big so I decided to put in two to light the whole room. Next, I'll show you how to make a lamp. First, replace the light prop with a large rectangular light prop, like this. Then, turn the point underscore spotlight into an env underscore sprite. This turns it into a less pointed light beam, and into more of a surrounding beam around the light. I recommend the scale of 2 to 4 for most lights. Once again, make sure to change the colour to match the light entity, and place it directly under the light prop, similar to the light entity. You can also tweak around with the settings if you want. Credits to Ragsimia for teaching me this method of lighting. This light is my favourite out of the bunch, and looks extremely atmospheric inside of a building. And finally, here's the comparison of all the lights. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed make sure to check out my other Hammer related content, and that's all for now. See ya!